Uh, hi guys, welcome to WebJada. So in this one, I'm going to talk about Svelte slots. So uh, slots are a way uh, to have children in our components. Uh, we have used HTML elements and we have had children inside it, uh, child elements inside it. But uh, even components, uh, an, an entire component can have a child element or child component. Uh, so that's what we're gonna look at so let's get started um, in this one uh, I'm gonna have a component uh, called jar uh, so I will have a jar and then I'll put some fruits in it uh, that that's all I'm gonna do here uh, I'll just import it right away uh, we don't need this dot slash jar so once that is there, we can have a jar here. Okay. Um, since there is nothing in the jar, uh, we are not getting anything. I'll have a division here. And that will uh, start to show up right away when I style this. Sorry. Okay. Uh, now a jar should be something like a container with a lid on it. Um, okay so let's give it a class and we'll have another div here with a lid okay i'll style the jar first let's see uh can be wide, uh, oh, something like 200 pixels maybe. Uh, height should be more, 400. That should do. And then, uh, so I'll have a border so that we, it's visible. Uh, maybe a little lighter. Yeah. So this is a, it's kind of a jar, but um, I don't want border uh, on all sides I don't want on the top so border um, top will be none and I want curved borders at the bottom so border uh, I think it's bottom left uh, oh, border radius sorry <laughs> okay border bottom border bottom uh left radius i think uh, this is how it is this, this is kind of weird uh, i'll have something like 50 pixels maybe yeah that's perfect uh i'll copy the same thing now this one is for right yeah so this looks like a jar um okay uh that 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 should be enough now i'll uh design or give a style to the lid okay so it can be um, wider than the uh, you know uh, the jar so let's have something like 230 pixels since that is 200 pixels so I'll have a border of uh, uh, maybe 20 pixels so thicker than uh, what we had solid maybe red yeah this looks good um and then we'll have border radius also um oh, something like 10 pixels that should do okay so they are not aligned correctly so i'll try to align them uh, maybe i'll align the parent where i have called it um so here i'll have a division and I'll have jar inside it now I can style the division or I'll call this app not app um, I'll keep it to the center mm.
Yeah, so that's the jar. Uh, yeah, that should do it. Looks like a jar. Now, uh, we have a jar and uh, inside it, we need something. Uh, so I'm going to put some fruits inside the jar, but not here, in, not in this component. I'll do that in the app component so that we can have multiple jars with different fruits. Um, so I'm going to have uh, a slot here. So slot is, uh, is, is a way of uh, allowing children. So if I have a slot here, the children will be added uh, to this slot if I add children to this jar here. So if I add something like OK, and you see that it's inside, right? Um, so the styling may not be perfect here. It's not aligning to the middle or we want it at the bottom, I think. So I will add some style here. Um, display grid. I don't know why I like grid so much. Um, so align um, items to end. And uh, okay, so I have to justify it to center. Uh, justify. I think there is no items. Content center. Yeah, we have it. Okay, so. Uh, uh, it's already working that you see that uh, you can see that we have a child here and it goes to um, uh, the slot right where the slot is I mean if we have slot somewhere else like in the, in the lid uh, it will go to the lid um, so that way um, we can have anything in the slot and uh, uh, we can have even um, HTML elements in the slot and it will show up in the jar so I'm gonna have uh, some fruits here um, I'll call this uh, berries, maybe. Um, okay, I'll have multiple of those. And here I'll style those berries. Um, it doesn't have to be very wide. Um, with ten pixel. Height 10 pixel. Uh, it has to be round. Percent. Uh, it has to have a background color. A magenta or something. Uh, that doesn't look like a very red. Okay, so it is arranged kind of uh, strangely. Uh, it has to arrange in the bottom, at the bottom. Um, let's see what we did here. Um, Line items end. It should have aligned the end. And why is it going uh, this way? Okay. Yeah, maybe I should have a flex here. Um, or maybe I can have this in the jar itself. I'll have a flex container and then whatever goes inside is uh, is arranged at the bottom so I'll style the flex container with uh, a display flex so that way they look like you know they're at the bottom and uh, these berries are not uh, I mean they're touching each other maybe which isn't a good idea uh, margin right and pixel uh, five should be fine okay so that, there we have it so there are some berries uh, I'll copy one more there are four berries here uh, now uh, this looks huge um, now what I will do is um, the reason uh, we do this way is that we can use this jar multiple times and we can have different things there so if I uh, copy the same thing again here and you see that there is another jar uh, we can kind of uh, distance it uh, from the other jars uh, how do i do that mm, okay so i'll just have to cover the whole thing with uh, a container um, or uh, let's not have another element uh, we can just do it here this jar right 
uh, we can have a margin bottom there. Um, out of weight, margin bottom uh, 20 pixels. I mean that should that should do it. Yeah, we have a proper distancing and we have the same thing there. But this time I'll change the fruits here uh, to uh, blueberries, right? So I'll remove this. I'll have one blueberry, let's see how it will look like here. I'll have to style it. I'll have the same style, just with a different color though. Um, something like indigo or something. Is that what, did that work? Of the blueberry, right? Yeah, it did work. So I can have multiple of those. Yeah, so in this one we have uh, berries and this in this one we have blueberries. Uh, so this is how it works, slots. So we can, uh, you know, um, we can use this jar multiple times and have whatever we want inside it. In, in apps, uh, you usually use it in order to create uh, repeating cards where you have different data, where you can provide a slot and then have different data there. Or uh, to build a layout uh, let's say you have a website and you have a blog and you want the blog post to look something different uh, blog I mean uh, your website pages to di look different uh, and uh, your entire website homepage to look different so we you can have multiple layouts and put the content inside so this layout will be your um, layout will have a slot where you can put content and it will you can design it in a different way uh, that's how uh, we use slot basically but uh, you can you can be creative and uh, do anything with it. Uh, this is not just it. Uh, we can uh, we have a lot of things there in in slots as well. We you can have a fallback uh, when there is nothing inside the slot. Uh, you can have uh, named slots where um, you can uh, give a name to the slot and uh, uh, in the wherever you use it, uh, you can define that uh, this element has to go to this slot. And the other element has to go to the other slot. We can, we can have multiple slots, and also uh, you can check what is in the slot uh, with a variable. Uh, these are called slot props. So all these things I'll be discussing in a different video, um, kind of like an advanced uh, video on slots. So uh, maybe uh, like and subscribe. Uh, you can uh, maybe you'll get in, get notified on that you know when that video comes out. Uh, thank you guys. Uh, see you in the next one. Bye.